Nick. You just, just give me some space to think. One time, that is all. Just to get it out of my system. Give me a chance to get my family back. Yeah, I know, I know. You love them, I understand. They are everything to me. If I lose them for good... You know what you're asking me to do, right? To help a friend. I would do the same for you. But I would never ask you that. Right, I'm sorry, I didn't... No, no, just enough. Marty, don't. Hey, Nick, listen, I'm sorry about before. I was freaking out. Have you had a chance to think about it? I care about you, Marty, and I care about your staff. I hate to see what you guys are going through, but I just, I, I don't think... OK, I OK, do. I get it. Yeah, I understand. Anything else, Marty, OK? Just just name it. I want to help, I do. This is the only way. Well, look, if, you might not even have the capacity in your system. I mean, when was the last time you took it? A few days ago, before Esther kicked me out, but if even a trace of it shows up, I lose my family for good. I know that it is tough. Look, I love her. I love our kids. We've been through this. Look, I made a stupid mistake. OK, the anxiety, everything with the shooting, I couldn't cope. Nick, please. OK, I just wanted to feel normal again. You know? But look at me now. Maybe this is what I deserve. Marty. No, I'm despicable. Asking you to lie for me, Nick. I'm so sorry. Joining me for the sanctioned privacy violation? It is just around the corner, Drew. You're going to have to show the nurse that you've got nothing in your pockets and leave your sample in the store. Would Big Brother be watching? No one wants to see that. Just checking. We're heading there now. Ridiculous, isn't it? Thanks, Iona. I can take over. Seriously, you're done already? Uh, my lot. Anyway, we've still got the admin staff to go and the night shifts. But yeah, um, there were no spills, no hold-ups. Everyone was in and out like clockwork, so... Oh, and Nick, can you just tell me... What? Marty, did he pass? Marty... Yeah, yep, he passed. All clear. Thank God. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, no. <laughs> Nick, God, thank you. For what? You covered for me. You knew, you knew you'd failed? No, 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 I was just worried. Did you? Yes, I lied to Esther. You did. Thank you so much. I feel sick about it. I'm sorry. Don't waste this, Marty. I won't. I mean it. You get clean and you stay clean and you never, ever end up here again. You have given me a second chance. Esther's talking to me again. I have hope now. And that's all thanks to you. Promise me, Maddie. Yeah, of course. Because if you mess up again, I'm not going to bail you out. Do you understand that? Absolutely. I'm not going to blow this. I know how lucky I am to have a friend like you. Well, I'm Esther's friend too. And I do not like lying. I know. And I am sorry. But you won't regret this. You saved me. You saved us. You'll see. Just a quick update. All the results are in and everyone was clean, bar one HCA. You might want to check with them. Everyone was cooperative, even Drew. One does never cease. Up oh, Nick. Yeah. I just want to say I'm sorry for bringing up Marty and the testing if it made you feel uncomfortable. No, no you, you can talk to me anytime. You know that. I was just worried. Yeah. But now that I know he wasn't lying, it's a good step forward. I'm glad. Oh, me too. <laughs> How was he? Oh, uh, yeah, he's trying. He's, he's missing you guys a lot. I wasn't exactly happy about him staying with you, but knowing that he's with a friend and that he's OK. I love you both. You know that. It means a lot, having someone in our corner. Well, the Marty and Esther working it out corner. No, I'm your biggest cheerleader, so try and stop me. Thanks, Nick. Are you ready? Madonna's mind make to me? Sure am. I'm just going to pop down chicken. Great. And um, for the record, I'm happy that you're on my team for that too. Call I haven't seen a fibroid this big in a long time. OK, now we're getting somewhere. Well, at least they can plan for a baby after this. More suction, please, and pass you the thing. Oh, 
just trying to get this fibroid off the uterine wall. It's really growing in there. She's losing a lot of blood. Uh, Diathermy, please, maybe get ahead of it. BP's dropping. Put up a unit of blood. Come on, Madonna. What's your BP? 70 over 40. Get the under She's going into DIC. I know, she needs platelets. Look, we might have to consider moving. Not yet. Listen, I, I don't want to either, but if it's a choice between a hysterectomy and her bleeding out... Just one more minute. Her BP is falling, she's hemorrhaging. We are not doing a hysterectomy, Esther, that's not what she wants. We do not have a choice, we're losing her. 